Yum, yum! Hey everyone, Steve White here with another Blender tip today on snapping. If I come up here into my snap panel, you can see the different elements that we can snap to. Things like vertices, edges, faces. Now you may have noticed that there's an edge and then we have an edge center and there's a face, but there's no face center. So how would we snap to the center of a polygon? Well, there's a way to do it. It's just not readily apparent at first. Uh, now you may have thought that this center option down here uh, might be it, but that has more to do with the object you're snapping rather than the target object that you're snapping to. So for instance, if I take this cube, hit the G key to move, and then hold down control to snap, what you can see what it's doing is actually taking the center of that red cube and snapping that to the surface of the objects. So that has nothing to do with snapping to say one of the uh, centers of those polygons on those white objects. Okay, so how do we do this? I'm gonna go back into my snap panel. I'm gonna select vertex mode. And then I'm going to select that cube again, hit the G key to move. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold down control over a, a vertex and then release. And now I'm gonna hit the A key. And what that's done is laid down an anchor point. So now what it's gonna do is going to find a center between that anchor point and whatever new point I now snap to. So for instance, if I hover over this edge or this corner here and then hold down control key, now I've snapped the distance between those two points. Now that might not be as intuitive as setting an option up here in the snap panel. However, it is flexible because it allows you to just snap halfway between the distance between two points. So if I select that cube again, hit the G key to move, hover over this point, hit the control key, then the A key to lay down an anchor point, come over here, hold down control. Now I've snapped the distance between those two vertices. Yum, yum.